Hello and welcome to the Regent Seven Seas Cruises family. How do we differ from everybody else out there in the marketplace? It's quite simple. We're an unrivaled experience and that means every luxury is included. To simplify that for you, you're not going to have to put your hand in your pocket unless you really want to for the duration of that cruise. So we do include the flights, the transfers, the specialty dining, the premium drinks, the service charges and the gratuities, unlimited Wi-Fi throughout the vessel will be included, but the real icing on the cake for us is the fact that we include a wonderful choice of unlimited shore excursions within every single port of call. So as I've just said, really and truly, you will not need to put your hand in your pocket unless you really want to for the duration of that cruise. And that really is skimming the surface of what we do include as a company. We are also providing you with the world's most luxurious fleet, the new standard in luxury cruising. And uh, we've got a wonderful, wonderful fleet of ships here. We class those ships as medium sized ships with a small ship mentality. As a company, we really believe that space is a luxury element, so we give it to you in abundance. The smallest addition to our fleet has a grand total of only 490 guests on board, the largest has only 750 on board. So you're never gonna have thousands of guests on board. It's all about relaxation and space for us as a company. Now I want to take you on a Regent journey, if I may. So I want you to just imagine that we're all off on holiday and it's embarkation day and we're about to board the world's most luxurious ship, the Seven Seas Explorer. Now it is an early embarkation from midday onwards. It's a wonderful start to your holiday. You're gonna stroll up the gangway. You're gonna be greeted immediately by one of our senior officers. It could be the captain or perhaps the cruise director who will welcome you back to your home away from home for the next seven nights. So you enter into this wonderful atrium. You're gonna be greeted there immediately with a white glove service and a glass of champagne will be handed to you upon arrival. Now, the Seven Seas Explorer has the absolute wow factor when you step on board because in that atrium is this magnificent chandelier and it really does take your breath away. So you've got your glass of champagne and you're strolling around the vessel and you're gonna notice the millions that have been spent on the interior of this ship from the wonderful artwork in the public spaces to the almost two acres of Italian marble, 473 crystal chandeliers featured on board. They have spared no expense whatsoever, uh, but it's all very tastefully done. Now you're making your way to your suite. For this sailing, you've chosen our deluxe veranda suite. Just to let you know about the suite sizes, suite sizes range on the Explorer from 307 square feet of space, which is the size of a superior queen room at the London Savoy. And the top suite on board is the Regent Suite, uh, starting at 4,443 square feet of space. It's absolutely huge. But the lovely thing about the Regent experience is the fact that you're gonna find there is absolutely no upstairs, downstairs mentality on board. And it is all suite accommodation, no cabins on board any of our ships whatsoever as well as all balcony accommodation on board the Seven Seas Explorer. So you go to your deluxe veranda suite, you're going to be met there by the room stewardess who uh, is again going to know you by name, she's going to welcome you back to your home away from home, make sure you're comfortable, make sure you're settled in, your luggage will all be there ready and waiting for you and as you step into that suite you'll see there's a king size elite slumber bed, fully reclining chairs out on your private balcony, a marble appointed bathroom in here, uh, really really stunning as well as a huge walk-in wardrobe as part of that suite as well. Now you've had quite a long day of traveling so you decide to take an early night so you get into that lovely slumber bed there with your Egyptian cotton sheets and uh, have a lovely evening's rest. Waking up feeling completely refreshed in the morning uh, you decide to go and freshen up in your marble appointed bathroom and the amenities in there will be uh, L'Occitane uh, but they can go all the way up to Guerlain depending on your suite grade and category. Suddenly there's a knock at your door and it's your room stewardess and you remember you ordered breakfast yesterday and she's there right on time to come through and set your table exactly as it would be in the restaurants on your private balcony and serve you breakfast. What a wonderful way to start your morning. It's now 10 o'clock and it's time for one of your very own free shore excursions that you pre-booked. We are cruising around Alaska for the seven night itinerary. And for that seven night trip, there are up to 44 free shore excursions to choose from. The port of call we're in today is Ketchikan and you've chosen the George Crab and Inlet Fest 
as your sure excursion choice. So you are going to be given a safety briefing from the team. You'll then board a 36 foot pontoon boat. They're going to take you out across these beautiful fjords where you're going to see 2,000 feet cascading waterfalls, snow-capped mountains. You'll then sail into a remote estuary where you'll actually assist the crew with pulling up crab pots before going back to the lodge and sampling the very best in Alaskan hospitality with a delicious crab meal. It's a four hour excursion. You have an absolutely wonderful day and it's time to get back on board the ship. Back on board, it's now afternoon tea at three time and you make your way to the observation lounge where your cruise director will be there ready and waiting for you. Um, you're gonna have a beautiful afternoon tea service with an afternoon trivia and because we're imagining this scenario of course you win that trivia uh, it's now time to go back to your suite and get ready for the evening's entertainment and as you're getting ready in your suite you suddenly hear a very rare announcement over the tannoy and it is very rare for us as a company but it is the captain's voice that you hear over the tannoy system and he's telling you to come out of your suite and meet and greet your neighbours this is our regent famous block party it's fantastic fun you come out of your suite into the corridor there everybody will be out of their suites the bar staff will be there serving wine and champagne and what happens is the cruise director and the captain make their way around every single deck running and greeting every single one of you outside of your suite so it's a really really wonderful way to meet everybody on board the ship and a really personalized way to meet the senior officers on board as well now after the block party it's time to head out for dinner and tonight you've made a reservation in our specialty restaurant on board pacific rim our pan asian themed restaurant on the explorer as you approach the restaurant the first thing you'll see is a huge tibetan prayer wheel featured outside made of bronze 90 individual barrels and retails at half a million dollars and as you walk into the restaurant you'll see lotus shaped windows traditional japanese rain chains chinese screens there's a whole lineup of waitresses ready and waiting to escort you to your private table for two tonight um, it's all female staff in here and the lighting and the ambiance they create really does give you the impression that you could be dining in a boutique chic restaurant actually in Tokyo. Now once you're sat down at your table there'll be a sommelier there to offer tonight's wine pairings uh, or of course you can select your own remember it's all complimentary and uh, you're selecting from that menu tonight there's a miso black cod options Canadian tempura lobster there's an extensive dim sum and sushi menu featured here as well uh, and you can select anything you like from those menus no signing no handing your room key over we know you're going to have a fantastic time with all of the food and beverage on board this ship as well as the rest of the fleet as well um, on board the seven seas explorer there's an incredible choice of seven dining options so plenty of choice and plenty of options for everybody now after dinner you're going to head to the forward of the seven seas explorer to our two-tier theater that's the constellation theater for tonight's production show with our fantastic cast on board and the show tonight is revolution so it takes you all the way back to the 60s uh, it's a broadway style production show with all of the technical elements of a las vegas style show and it's a fantastic evening of entertainment after the show you're not quite ready to go to bed so you head to the explorers many lounges and bars and the one that you've chosen tonight is the explorer lounge and as you walk into the lounge there is a three-piece residential show band up here keeping everybody entertained the martinis are flowing everybody's up dancing and you dance the night away before heading back to your suite where your room stewardess has turned down the suite ready and waiting for you now this is just a couple of examples of what you could perhaps do with Regent Seven Seas Cruises. There are so much more to do and see with us as a company. I will urge you to please have a look at our Regent Seven Seas Cruises website. In the Discover More section, we actually have virtual tours and they showcase these ships beautifully. They are almost like boutique hotels rather than cruise ships and they all vary in layout, configuration and design. So it does all go back again to choice and preference. Now with all of the entertainment on board, you're gonna have your own personalized experience always because we do give you industry leading space to guest ratios. Uh, just to give you an example of this, the Seven Seas Explorer is a 56,000 ton vessel carrying only 750 guests on board. The ship could easily accommodate well over 2,000 guests and probably would do if she was a mainstream supplier. So she really is industry leading 
in space to guest ratio as well as crew to guest ratio with 552 crew members to cater for the 750 guests on board uh, so you can be as involved in the entertainment as you like but you can also be as completely uninvolved as you like it is completely your own choice and preference and remember with us as a company it's all about being an unrivaled experience and every luxury included so if you didn't listen to a word i've said for this virtual event the one thing i want you to take away from this is that it is not what you pay to get on the ship it's what you pay to get off of the ship now as a thank you for attending today's virtual event there is of course an event offer in place and it's exclusive for you to use for the next 10 days it works like so you'll be entitled to a reduced booking deposit of 10 percent as well as 200 dollars shipboard credit per suite and a saving of 100 pound off per person or a maximum save of 750 pound off per person depending on the suite grade and the length of the itinerary and you can see all of the details up on the screen right now if you would like to take advantage you must do so via the travel agent that's invited you to today's virtual event. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you all on board very soon. Thank you very much.